there everybody so today i have an ambiano nine in one pressure cooker it is essentially like a direct knockoff of an instant pot and i need to stop saying that instant pot i always get on people i've never actually got on anybody but i would for saying um insta pot it's instant pot but this is a direct knockoff of one, essentially. And even if you kind of glance to the side and you're not paying attention, this logo, the Ambiano logo with that red, um, really makes you think, oh, wow, like this is uh, an instant pot. But it's not. This is basically, like I said, a direct knockoff. And the buttons are even the same and basically positioned in the same spot. So we'll look at those. I'm not going to be using the pressure cooker in this video. It's more of a unboxing, what do you get? And you can get this at Aldi. I got this for $49.99. Um, I went to my semi-local Aldi and um, my sister and I went later on out the... Um, out of town and we went to another Aldi in the state next to us because we live on a, a border between two states and she got a spice rack that came with like 16 spices or something and they had significantly less of these at that store than um, these ones or than the store that I bought these from and it was the same day. So it could be one of those things where, you know, nobody wants one at your store and then other places they sell out like hotcakes. Um, now, right now, Instant Pots are not that expensive. You can get one for like, I want to say probably around 50 or 60 bucks from Walmart. And I thought to myself, am I really saving anything by buying this? But um I did kind of um a little bit of research. You basically save like twenty to thirty dollars depending on what instant pot model you buy. And I don't mind Aldi's items. The way I see it is Aldi cannot make all of these appliances themselves. There's just no way for them to be able to make all of these for um one week because you know if you have an Aldi, they're products their Aldi finds are released once a week and of course you know if um you were to buy something of theirs it more than likely if they have any on the shelf it's just because the stock that they got has not been depleted yet but really every store is given enough items to maybe they get a dozen and they're available for that week so the way I see it is you pick it up when you see it or it's not going to be there when you come back. Um, I do like the fact that the manuals for the Ambiano products are relatively um, good. I mean, it's a color front. The inside really isn't, but it kind of gives you like a table of contents, how to clean it. You do get a recipe book, which is also color. I'm very shocked. So... You can do maple cinnamon oatmeal, and they kind of sectioned it a little bit. Egg casserole, mashed potatoes, quinoa and veggies, coconut jasmine rice. Eh, I'm not a rice person. Hard-boiled eggs, two cups of water, six eggs, ten minutes prep time. Um, vegan tomato soup, bolognese sauce. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. New England clam chowder, ooh, um, paprika chicken, Mexican chicken, Mexican chicken burrito, curry chicken, mm, beef stew, meatballs, pork chops with sauerkraut. I've never heard of that before. I've heard of bratwurst or kabasi with sauerkraut, mac and cheese, of course, rice pudding. Cheesecake, plain or Greek yogurt, nine hours. Wow. Banana bread. So that is pretty nice. I like how they did some simple recipes. And then they also did some ones for people who might be vegan or maybe people who are, I feel like it said gluten free in there somewhere. Um, but I, I like when they provide simplistic recipes because to me, somebody who's going to be buying a pressure cooker 
yeah, maybe they're buying it because they want to make really good meals. Maybe they want to fancy it up a little bit, but maybe they're only willing to spend two hours time um, cooking everything combined. Well, that's a lot of work for a basic recipe. Having something that cooks the, the food quickly might free up some extra time and might help you get a little bit more creative in the kitchen and be willing to, um, you know, do something a little bit more daring because it didn't take you all day to do it and then it ended up flopping. So I do like pressure cookers in that sense, but I also like just the fact that you can get time back for basic recipes too, like mac and cheese. Um, the warranty card, Tempo International Fulfillment is the service center. I don't really know if that means that um, this is made by Ambiano or, again, somebody made it for them. And um, we'd have to probably look up to see where Instant Pots are made and who fulfills those. So... Um, I believe this has a three-year warranty on it, which is really nice. Aldi does a good job with their um, products and their warranties. You get a quick start guide that they kind of folded and threw in there. So let's take a little bit closer look. So this is the lid, obviously. And it looks like it'll just pop right out of there. This automatically, like first glance, it just looks like an Instant Pot. And it's very nicely made. I really like this thing so far already. So you have the closing lid, opening lid. You've got your um, exhaust, and that's the close. A little bit nicer than my Cuisinart. And I like the fact that this is a little bit more substantial than my Cuisinart is, for sure. I don't know what an Instant Pot um, gasket and such looks like, so I'm not really sure. But it seems like the gasket is much... But it could just be because my Cuisinart's a little bit older. You get a little spoon, two spoons. I like the ones that they advertise on the box better. They're white. These are clear. Um, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. You get the little drip cup in here that hangs off the back right there to catch any condensation or any jelly goo that seems to collect on some of these. And then you get like that measuring cup. The only thing that my Cuisinart came with was that um, drip catcher thing that slides up on the back. It's a real thin um, thing, and really, I notice it only actually collects anything with only certain foods. And I feel like it's anything with, like, um, gluten, possibly, but I could be wrong. I've only ever seen it get something in it once or twice, um, the power cord the uh, little metal rack. And then the rest of it is just the, the actual vessel itself, which looks really nice. It feels nice. It has a measuring cup thing going on in it to tell you um, like how much you can fill. I'm assuming the two min fill means basically whatever you're cooking, you need to at least put two cups of water in to get proper results. And that's the scariest part about pressure cooking is just not knowing how to use it. It's a totally different type of cooking. Even though pressure cooking has been around for years, it has it's just one of those things that people are afraid of and they really don't know how to use because they break the rules in um, cooking. Now, this looks identical to my Cuisinart, which is neat, though. And I want to plug this in and see um, the screen on it. You can see how, like, wavy and bubbly the screen looks. And it looks like it was like scratched up, scuffed up a little bit, honestly. Um, I wish this would focus. I'm just using my phone. Um, 
it's probably because I must have turned the autofocus off. So you can see, like, there's a scratch there, some scuffs, kind of, and then there's this, which is not a screen protector as far as I know. It's just the way that the screen is. So I'm a little disappointed in that, to be honest. And, like, how the screen section has like a bubbly dip right there that's a little disappointing honestly but maybe I'll find out one day that there's like a piece of plastic that can be peeled off the front of this but I don't want to pull off all the buttons on accident so you have a um soup meat or soup and broth meat stew cake egg just a second my phone's about to fall <laughs> Saute, poultry, adjust, delay, start, manual, keep warm, yogurt, slow cook, steam, oatmeal, multigrain, and rice. So they call it a nine um, in one because there's three and three and three and three. So actually that's 12. Stupid me. <laughs> that's 12 presets. So um, they probably call it a nine in one because... It says 12 pre-programmed cooking modes, which is great because I've actually seen some Instant Pots that don't have that many, but it's because you can bake, you can um, pressure cook, you can cook rice, it's a rice cooker, um, it's a steamer, it's a slow cooker, it's um, like an electric skillet, so that would be six. Um, it's, I don't know what else you could probably think of. Um, I guess an oatmeal cooker or something like that. Um, it's a yogurt maker. So it's one of those things. To be honest, do those things really float my boat? I'll probably never cook yogurt in this. And I think most people probably won't, but it's available and you can do it if you'd like. So I'm going to pause this, plug it in. And I just kind of want to play with the screen, see how it looks, see um, that kind of stuff, and then kind of show you guys. Okay, so I have the power cord plugged into the back of the unit. I'm going to plug this in. It's a three-prong cord. Off the top of my head, I don't remember if my Cuisinart is a three-prong. I would imagine it probably is, but um, just for those of you who might be like healthcare workers or somewhere that they require a three-prong outlet, and you guys do a lot of in... Um, three prong outlet, a three prong corded item and maybe work in like an office space or something like that where they like regulate appliances that you can take into um, certain areas at this price. Um, I know I work at the hospital. There are people who nicely buy appliances for everybody you use when you're doing like the long nights and stuff like that. So just to keep that in mind. So that was pretty cool. Everything lit up blue. When you plugged it in, it's got a little beep to it. It does not pulsate like that, like the light is showing. So let's see. Soup, pressure, um, or P30, whatever the heck that means. I'm assuming normal pressure. Oh, I don't want that to turn on. Oh, yeah, it's already heating up. So I don't really know as if I like the fact that it just goes right for it. Um, manual. I'm assuming the P must be a timer and it must be like your preset and then you set how many minutes you want. Um, I don't know what adjust really means and you can hear it, it, it stops and then it clicks to turn right on. So honestly, one of the big benefits about having this unit and... I pulled up a Instant Pot um, picture, and you can see, maybe if I zoom in on this severely, and then hold it up, and compare these two together, and you can kind of see that soup and broth, meat and stew, cake, but this one says bean chili, cake is below it, slow cook and saute, but this says um, egg saute in poultry. Your pressure level, which I assume is your adjust manual, which this one must be must be 
either on an instant pot the pressure level is also the manual button and the um pressure or possibly the pressure cooker button i don't know why my phone is deciding not to do its autofocus that might be better um so i mean these are essentially identical this one obviously i brought up was the smart wi-fi but i tried to find one that was the most comparable this one has 12 buttons and this one has 12 buttons I also like the fact that these ones actually illuminate to show you what you chose, whereas the Instant Pot does not. Um, but they have a rice button, multi-grain. This one calls it porridge. This one says oatmeal. This one says steam. That one says steam. The slow cooker button's over there. That's over here. And the yogurt button's the same. So what is different? This one has an egg button. This one does not. They both have a cake button. They both have a slow cook button. They both have saute. Um, but this one just has an egg button that this one does not. Um, and But it's not missing anything that this one um, is. So I just kind of liked that um, it's very similar. I will check the... Um, owner's manual so the p with a number is just saying how many how much time um and i'm assuming it it p means pressure because there are some non-pressure modes on this like the yogurt the slow cooker and um i think possibly the um saute they are the non-pressure buttons However, the less normal and more, I believe, is um, it will tell you like what the, the pressure is, normal or high or um, it just kind of tells you like what the pressure is, I'm assuming, because some of these do not have a... Um, a light it doesn't really say much about the less normal more except for when adjusting the cooking times but i don't really see that moving when i'm adjusting the timer at all so very different very um basic um instruction book it definitely tells you how to use it it's not hard to understand but my primary purpose for this was to really show you guys that there's really no difference at all um, and the reason that that is so important to me to address is because whenever you look up pressure cooker recipes, they always seem to be catered directly towards an instant pot. Now you'll probably hear my doorbell go off in a second because the mail, yep, the mail person is here. Um, so you will notice that most of the recipes are catered specifically towards an instant pot. It starts to tell you, oh, put it in manual mode and do this or hit this button. And it's like, well, I don't have those buttons on my Cuisinart. So um, now I basically do, but I just didn't pay the price for an instant pot. Close, but not quite. And I'm pretty happy with this. As far as I know, it might have a slightly better warranty, but I haven't really researched to see but it's definitely worth picking up and trying out because you can always return it if you don't like it. Um, but that is the wrap of my video. I may later on down the road in a few months post some cooking pics or cooking vids, I should say. But um, this was mostly like an item that I am stocking up on to have one for when I get into my new apartment. And um, I'm going to leave the Cuisinart pressure cooker here for my family. So thanks for watching and drop some questions if you have them. I might be able to answer them. But if they are, how does it work? You know, what are your thoughts on how it's been cooking? I'm probably not going to be able to answer them because this is going back in the box until I move in. So thank you guys and enjoy.